Millions of people today are affected by a wide variety of neurological disorders. Neurodegenerative diseases are one of the largest and increasing global health burdens on today's society. And although several treatments are currently approved to treat these diseases, most only help with associated symptoms, as we do not yet understand the complexities and the development of these diseases. Most research attempts fail despite all financial and scientific effort, and we believe that the reason for this is because we keep approaching the problem from the wrong direction, as most research attempts focus solely on neurons. The immune system plays a key role in maintaining the health of the human body. This is supported by the fact that in the past decade, we have been able to use effective immunotherapies in many pathologies. Throughout the human body, a great number of different specialized immune cells can be found. However, in the central nervous system that is enclosed by the blood-brain barrier, only one single type of glial cell is responsible for most immunological processes. These are microglia that account around 10 to 15 percent of cellular elements of the brain. Our research group thus set out to study the exact role of microglia under physiological and pathological conditions and better understand even their homeostatic functions. In recent times, a great number of neurological disorders have been shown to have a neuroinflammatory background. The main cellular modulator of these inflammatory processes are microglia cells, which highlights the importance of understanding their role. So what are microglia? Microglia are the first cellular elements that inhabit the space where the brain will later develop in the progression of the central nervous system. They play an essential role in the development of the brain and the normal arrangement of nerve cells. Later, in the mature brain, they can be found in homogeneous distribution with a specific morphology that, in the case of an environmental disturbance, transforms in a well-characterized manner. It is especially important to note that while other cellular elements of the central nervous system remain stable in one place, thin processes of microglia are fast moving, and this is how they constantly surveil the cells and different elements around them. In the past years, our research group found contacts with specialized ultrastructure between the cell bodies of neurons and uh, microglia through which bidirectional communication can occur. You can see these contacts right here. As you can see, they're quite frequent. The green cells are microglia, and you can see the neurons in blue. These are the contact sites through which microglia can influence neural activity, metabolism, and even viability. Similarly structured contacts can be seen between microglia and endothelial cells at the edge of blood vessels through which microglia can monitor and shape cerebral blood flow. These findings are of the utmost importance because early detectable changes that can be seen before symptoms arise in neurodegenerative diseases include impaired neuronal activity, reduced cerebral blood flow, and the impairment of neurovascular coupling. We have detected the exact same phenomena when microglial functions are attenuated. This highlights how important the regulatory role of microglia and their homeostatic functions are. So recently, we have been studying an micro, important microglial receptor called P2Y12 that plays a vital role in baseline microglial surveillance as well as the neuroprotective actions of microglia. The receptor itself is a G-protein coupled purinergic receptor that is only expressed in microglia in the central nervous system. Microglial neuroprotection is indispensable in the case of cerebral dysfunction, such as neural hyperactivity, a viral infection, or a stroke. And we have already found that in the absence of P2Y12 receptor, these neuroprotective actions are attenuated as more neurons die in the case of an ischemic stroke, and significantly more neurons become infected in the case of a viral infection. So in all cases, 
the loss of the receptor's function seems to worsen the outcome. However, the receptor is not only vital in pathological circumstances, but in physiological as well, and our group has already revealed that it selectively accumulates at the special, specialized contact sites with neurons and endothelial cells. In our current experiments, we set out to understand how the endogenous properties of microglia, as well as microglia contacts with other cell types, are altered in physiological conditions in response to the loss of function manipulation of P2Y12. We found that in the absence of the receptor, microglial surveillance is negatively affected, and microglial morphology, which is a great indicator of the current state of microglia is also generally affected, resulting in significantly more, but less effectively scanning process endings. The deficiency of P2Y12 receptor function affected microglia neuron interactions as well, resulting in considerably more satellite microglia cells. Those are microglia cells that lay with their cell bodies onto neuronal cell bodies. And it also raised microglial cell count by a factor of roughly one and a half. Furthermore, the absence of the receptor also selectively changed microglial contactomics with other types of glial cells, as well as dedicated parts of the vasculature. We found around 30% more microglial contacts on the surface of oligodendrocyte processes, and we have also revealed that only thick arteries seem to show a significant increase in microglial coverage. Generally, loss of P2Y12 signaling <laughs> seems to dampen efficient microglial surveillance uh, that is essential in maintaining homeostasis in the brain. We now plan to move towards translational research to confirm our findings on human samples, as well as work toward understanding the exact role of microglia in different pathologies through both anatomical and sequencing methods. To quickly summarize, one of the largest health burdens on today's society are neurological disorders affecting millions of people. Recently, most have been shown to have a neuroinflammatory background that we do not yet understand in detail. These neuroinflammatory processes, main cellular modulators, are microglia cells, which highlight how important microglia cells are in, in pathological circumstances. However, microglial actions are also vital in physiological circumstances, and a microglia-specific receptor called P2Y12 also seems to play a key role in these actions. P2Y12 receptor itself is microglia-specific in the brain, so this could potentially allow cell-specific targeting in the future. My final take-home message to all of you for today would be that we believe that understanding the exact role of microglia through translational research in different pathologies could enable new therapeutic approaches in a broad range of neurological disorders. I would like to express my gratitude to all of my colleagues with whom I worked on this project, and I can't convey how grateful I am for the guidance and help I have received from my mentor, Adam Danesh, and my junior mentor, Balash Boshvai. Thank you all for your kind attention. Thanks a lot, Shara, for this very nice presentation. Thank you.